What's up, ladies and gents? Sinistrano, one your host here, and I was gracious enough to be giving a free or review copy of Dragon's Dogma 2. So we're going to check it out today. I don't think this is going to become a series or anything like that, but I do like to check out new games, especially games that have gotten a lot popular and a lot of people are playing them right now. And I want to show you gameplay from my channel. So if you're anything like me, you can understand if this game is going to be right for you. I'll go over my thoughts as we are playing and seeing if I like it or not and that kind of stuff. So again, a big shout out to Xbox and of course Capcom we're providing the code for me. This is the Xbox Series X that we're going to be playing this on and pretty much just going to start it up. No edits, no anything like that. What you're getting here is just straight up footage showcasing the game, how it looks, how it runs on the Series X. I do know there's limitations on the consoles, so this will be interesting to see, um, you know, how it compares. I don't have the PC version, which I heard is a... Uh, a little bit higher in, in frames, obviously, but it's still very taxing on even newer RTX 4090s and things like that. So this is going to be interesting, uh, to say the least. So hopefully we'll get in here, we'll have a little bit of fun, check out the game for about an hour or so, and just uh, see how it is with my commentary. So here we go. Out right there for me. Just the brightness you're liking. I think that's... Fine. I do prefer a little bit of a lighter image. Enter my age. Oh boy. I know. It's sad. Grow up, stream. Still playing video games at 40 years old. <laughs> Network features. I don't really want any of that stuff. So I did play the original Dragon's Dogma, and I think I actually have a video or two on uh, Dragon's Dogma from back in the day. So if you want to check that out, you can do so. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and check out some of the options that we get here first. Uh, camera, I am one of those weird inverted Y-axis guys, I know. Should be good there. Interface. HDR. So there's no performance mode or, or anything like that. So I think it's an unlocked frame rate, if I'm not mistaken. Um, everything looks fine. Subtitles on. So I'm guessing there's like a little, okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, we'll turn that off though. All right. Let's go ahead and jump into Dragon's Dogma 2. I won't spend too much time in the editor as I want to showcase uh, as much of the gameplay as I can. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like if you especially like for me to do more videos like this where we show off the first hour of different games. Um, which is different than what the main channel does, which is provide platinum walkthroughs and things like that for you guys. And then everybody throws them their ears. Oh my god, that is such a good joke. What movie was that from? Can anybody tell me? True monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last! The bell has tolled on the age of the console. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the sovereign. Ah, 
My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. Already I can notice that the frames are really low. I'm recording this in 60 frames, but I'm noticing that I'm getting under 30 for some of this cutscene. Behold! Before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen. Thou who wouldst slay the dragon. If thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Wow, I guess he just uh, killed himself. Uh, shortest playthrough ever. I don't really know too much of the story, so... My main focus is on how the game looks, how it runs, um, gameplay, is it fun? Okay, so I was not really sure what just happened there. Maybe someone can tell me. Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Alright, so you can either select a prisoner to use as a preset or select the hooded prisoner to customize your character's appearance from a blank slate. So let's see what the presets look like. No. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, there'll be trouble for the lot of you. Okay, my first initial impression of the characters, they don't look too bad, actually. Oh, that looks really cool. Speak up, you good-for-nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Is it you? No? Ah, it must be you. You've got an arrogant look about you. Are you the one, then? Aha, uh -huh. I thought I recognized you. All right, so we're going to go into here. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. It looks like you could be two different races. I'm going to be male. That's, that's who I am. Um, body type. Let's see. There's... Everything that I'm not, I'm going to be a tall dude this time. I think it'll be fun. Ooh, we got Mr. Pretty Boy here. So you get, uh, okay, there's more options here. Wow. Okay, so my first impression is, and I've never done the character uh, customization before. I know they had like a, a demo that you could play that had the character customization in it. Uh, but this looks pretty good. Not, not, too, uh, not too shabby. I know it's a massive open world game, so... Um, I'm gonna go with the pretty boy here, and then we'll kind of uh, build him up from there. Um, base head.
choose a base head, okay? Uh, I suppose I'll go with this one. Alright, so base head three. Let's see... Let's go with that one. Alright, here we go. So we got body. Obviously, you know, you're like how tall you are and all that good stuff. Uh, muscle type 19. So you can change this to give yourself a real muscular look if that's what you're going for. What does 19 look like again? Let's go with 19, yeah. Make them all beefy. It's a ladies man. Big traps. Big muscle mass. This dude does not skip leg day, okay? Alright, so that's your upper body size. Okay, that looks a little weird doing that. So let's just keep it at the the normal one that was at. Lower body size. Whoa. His hips don't lie. Uh, so we'll just keep that normal too. Alright, so I think that's good. You can zoom in. You can look up and down. Move it left and right. Not, not bad. Okay, I'm... Alright, this is... Uh... Toggle what he looks like with equipment on and what he looks like with equipment off. Okay. So, that's good. Uh, how do we move to the next portion? I guess, um... Oh, you can change the lighting, too. That's cool. So you can see how he looks in different light. Nice. Wow. Okay, finalize. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Detailed customization. This must be where it is. Um, I'm trying to find... Like hair. Alright, there is actually quite a bit of stuff you can do. I always like to give... Where is... Okay, remember you can zoom in. That way you can actually see what you're doing here. Squint. I mean, there are so many size, angles, depth, height. Um, body hair. Here we go. So let's go with uh, facial... I always like to put beards on my guys, but I don't want it to be... Let's zoom out a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm going to just go with the... Kind of like the 5 o'clock shadow. You can just see how many options they have. It's actually... Wow. I was not expecting there to be this many options, to be honest. This is quite a bit. But I'm gonna go with the 5 o'clock shadow one, although I do like kind of that one. We'll just go with the 5 o'clock. Uh, leave all that the same. I think that's fine. Um, now let's go... Let's see, head, hairstyle. All right, let's get. Wow, their hair actually looks pretty decent. I really hope the game actually looks like this when you go into it. kind of like that one. And you could put a sheen to it, give it kind of like a, uh, I guess, a glossy kind of look to it. That's good. Root, the tips, how they blend together. 
can give him like a different tip color if you want. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, um, anything else that I would want to really mess with? Uh, really, the only thing I would want to do, I think, is find where a kind of a bluish. There we go. Something like that. Nice. They actually have quite a bit. Uh, anything else? Um, let's see, makeup. I'm not going to do any of that. Oh, you got tattoo presets? Oh, nice. Zoom out a little bit. Wow, and you have a lot of options too. You kind of like this one though. I'm gonna go with that one, just... I like that one. This one's fine. Okay, got body tattoos, body scars. Um, wow, uh, lots of things, but I think that's it for now because I don't want to waste too much of your time. Let's get our vocation. A fighter, archer, mage, thief. Just for the sake of this game, let's, let's go... Let's go with the fighter. And voice. Stay out of the fairway! Stay in the fairway! Uh, sorry, every time I think of voice games, I always think of EA Sports, Tiger Woods. Stay in the fairway! And when you can change the, stay in the fairway. Oh, he doesn't actually have a voice. I'm gonna go with that one go with the gallant knight let's get in here let's do this so we got to pick a name so what are we gonna call him we're gonna call him um center strain moniker so oh okay this is cool um Let's see if the moniker that I always go by in games is in here, which it is. It is. There we go. Kent. And I always choose Kent because of Clark Kent. So and we'll make him legal to drink. <laughs> He's a gallant knight. Let's do this. I know it took a little longer than I wanted to do as we're already 18 minutes into the video, but. I like that look in your eyes. It is queerly brazen for a pawn. Frames are really low, though. That's the only thing I'm seeing so far. As you can tell, this is under 30. I don't know if you guys can see that. It might be a lot more clear for all of you. But if you're watching this, like if you're actually playing it, you can tell the frames are low. So you personally have to tell them Most of your kind to move next. Mayhap it is only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, Vessel. Three days here, and you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. I know this is a third-person game, but they're doing this in first-person. Interesting. Uh, why don't you will gain access to these as you progress? Obviously, this is the deluxe edition that uh, Capcom and Xbox was kind enough uh, to send my way, so... Old to talk. Way. I've no need of your pity. Okay, so that's how you hail people and talk to them. Okay, animations look pretty good. I like the way he moves. Definitely moving like he's a guy that likes to work out. Spends his time in the gym. But yeah, frames are really low and we're not even in the world yet. I can only imagine what the frames are going to look like when we actually get out in the world. 
I know a lot of, I, listen, I'm, I'm not going to park too much on the fact it's going to have low frames, but this is the year 2024, people. Um, developers should be making games optimized enough for 60 frames. You can be one of those people that says 30 frames is totally fine, and that's 100% true. 30 frames is totally fine, but this is 2024. I mean, 60 frames should be the standard. And, and this is coming from somebody that doesn't mind 30 frames games. I don't mind it. I, I love a lot of games out there that only have 30 frames per second. But it's just as we as I get older, I start to, to care a little bit more about this kind of stuff. I didn't care about it, you know, a few years ago as much. But these are why I, I end up usually playing like PC versions of games, because then I get to have over 60 frames. And that, you know, when you're when you're sitting there playing these huge open world games, the strain on your eyes, especially someone like me who only sees out of one eye, makes it really, really, really tough. Your injuries pain you. Pray, do not overexert yourself. This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Going for a nice little leisurely jog. Yeah, man, this is really hurting my eyes. I, I think once you'd, you'd get used to it, it wouldn't be a problem. But at, at first glance, you know, if you play a lot of 60 FPS games or over, then yeah, it's going to hurt your eyes. Time for us to get to work. All right, to pick up a boulder. This is kind of cool. You get to start out as a... Uh, you are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. I like that. I like games that LB and right. I like games that make you do these types of things. You know, you're you're a prisoner. You're going to be doing you're going to be doing this type of stuff. Pray leap. Oh, or that poses a hindrance to you. Okay, so RT, grab and release. There we go. Okay. You can jump while you're... Uh... Wow. Alright, am I just putting it here, I guess? Not sure how many I need to pick up. No. All games usually have something that help you get used to the controls, make you feel like you're figuring things out, seeing how everything works. I mean, it's it's a common thing. A job well done. Now the next step is to... So much for that next step. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. Perhaps we shall. Okay, dash, so you've got a... Aaron Taylor Johnson's gonna go in and wreck the day. So it kind of looks like <laughs> the new James Bond. Wow! Right into a boss fight. Observe your foes carefully and attack 
the situation is not. No idea where my character went. Why am I? I'm, I'm climbing on this. Whoa! I didn't even know you could do that. She's just like, all right, guys, I'll see you later. Are you unharmed? You won't flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. Kill a, kill a Grimgore? So you just press it once and you go into like a dash is sprinting, I guess. Okay. <laughs> no one could survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. Okay, so that's that's a pretty decent intro. Pretty decent intro, in my opinion. It's got me interested. It's got me wanting to see what else is going to happen. Um, I just really, really wished our character talked. Can't really complain too much about that. I mean, obviously. Um, it's how a lot of RPG-style games are. They leave the voice out so that you can feel like you can put your own voice in as the character. I've never really been a big fan of that. But I understand why they do it. I'm just... I I love it when, when I can sit back and watch the cutscenes and try to get engrossed in the story or listen to what's actually being said instead of focusing on me having to read something, you know? I'm a visual learner. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a stream on this game after this initial video. And if there's enough people, if enough people can leave those comments, then it's possibly something we could do. Aww.
like I said, I played the original, but I do not remember anything about the story. Not a single thing. I'm kind of coming to this into this blind. So take what I say merely as someone who is pretty much playing this series for the first time, because I don't remember really anything. So you can correct me when I'm wrong, obviously. Let people know if I've said something wrong or that's not how something is, or if a feature that I really like or enjoy or don't like was in the first game, let me know. So that way the audience knows of something, you know, and I'm not interpreting it wrong or something. I'm just giving you that initial standpoint of kind of where I'm coming at this. Great, keep your distance, Arisen. Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. I feel like that just came out of nowhere. Oi! Are you alright? What happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back. So, I, I get it. You know, all these big games are going to have these types of cinematic moments. A cool thing is we can move the camera around, which I appreciate, to give a good look at the surrounding environment. But I would just really, really love for these types of games to go a little bit more in-depth with their cinematic angles and kind of not make it feel like you're just in these talking conversations. But it's something that's been so hard to do for so long. I mean, this is just how it's been since the 3D world of these types of games. It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. I can definitely tell you that the words are not matching up with what he's saying. And then what happened to the other three people that were there? Hey, we unlocked our first achievement. No, that doesn't mean I'm going to be platinuming this. But uh, there you go. First taste of freedom. 80% of people have at least got this far. You know, that's amazing to me. Because that should be 100%. Or maybe 99, because there might be a few people that get the game and then just, you know, some work comes up and they haven't been able to play it yet. But only 80%? That's like... Only 80% of the people that bought this game have gotten 20 minutes into it. And I and it's even less for other games. And I always was confused by that, but... We just unlocked our first tr or trophy, our first achievement. Complete Gaoled Awakening. Okay, environment looks decent. A lot better than it did on reviews. So I'll give it that. I'll give it that. Um, colors seem a, a, a bit uh, dull. Like, it doesn't s seem to be a very colorful type of palette. More... Um, more washy, I guess. I don't know how to say it correctly, of course, but let's look at our equipment. Do I have anything at all? I just got the regular basic body armor. You have two different types, an impale and an onslaught. I've never heard of such a place. There's certainly not like that here in Burma. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batar? Nay, I suppose that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since the war. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir. You'll be needing it. Weapon skills blink strike. Nice! When one of the Clintons, best guard of Dodge, will be sore on the morrow. Now, I wish there was like a... There's grab, sheath, weapon switch. I wish there was like a... Do, like a dodge button? Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. 
If you're not squeamish about picking at their bones, that is. Where are you going? I'll not force you to receive treatment. Oh, you can't go into there. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving. So don't go in the water. Okay. Like what I mean by is you can dash is just run, but like a little dodge button would have been pretty cool. Looks like something I can. Yeah. Okay. Gather. Why you must attack him. Let me try block. Oh, jeez. All right. Let's see what happens when I block. You can lock. That's good. Okay, cool. Dang, I like that move. That's crazy. Oh. Nice. You can pick him up. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay, not bad, not bad. Where are you? Bad. My health is pretty low already. I don't know, do I have medical? Goblin horn. Let's see. Items, obviously, we've got apples, so can I like eat it to get health back up? Yes, sure can. Um, can you set these to directional buttons or something similar to that? I would I'm sure you're probably going to be able to do that. Um combine, optimize, to use this card. Okay, but as of right now, there's I don't see any way to set that to a specific a fast button or something like that. I'm sure there's going to be a way. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Some pop in, some weird pop in. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. I love the music so far. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Earth into this world. Pray. Summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. Alright, you will now summon your main pawn. The loyal companion will accompany you throughout your adventure. What should they look like? Try to envision their appearance. You can either begin with a preset or choose to create your own. I'm just going to choose a preset for this. I'm sure you can create someone that looks just like uh, all the creation, you know, that you had previously. Let's see... Go with her. Yep, this is where you can uh, do the details. Give her a different hairstyle. Wow, I gotta say, hair looks really good in this game. I'm gonna go with that one, except let's, ooh. 
Nice, I like that. Tip color, let's go... More blackish like that. Oh, that looks good. Give her a little bit of shine. Okay. Um... I'm good with that. All right, so vac vacation. Let's see, it's back up. Make her exactly like you. It's almost like a second table character. Uh, let's make her an archer. All right, so characters, let's see here. Passionate, devoted, dutiful, the most obedient, favors a balanced approach with emphasis to support, quick to aid allies in need, calm, rational, shrewd, on uh, favors defense and evasion, empowering clever tactics, simple, adventurous, hard on their sleeve, enjoys exploring and gathering items, straightforward. Too so kind hearted. The people here are evacuated and safe for the I'll moment. I like that. I like that. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evac. The people here are evacuated and safe. For the moment, the people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. There are more who can yet be saved. There are more who can yet be saved. The same person, just with a different pitch. I'm gonna go with this one. Here we go. Name, what are we gonna call her? Um, um, here we go. Moniker, uh... Ooh, they actually don't have... Wow, they don't. So... Let's go with... I can't believe they don't have something as simpler as that. Um... M. Bison. <laughs> Let's go with Nana. All right. Now you could really take your time and go into there. Crosses of the rift. For we are able to connect to and traverse other realms beyond this one. When we return, it is our duty to use our experiences and the knowledge we have gained to aid you on your journey arisen. From this day forth, I shall serve you as your loyal pawn, and aught I learn beyond the rift will be at your disposal. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the capital. Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? I actually didn't say it. You'd never even give me a chance to speak yet. Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, mayhap you'll recall aught of import there. Wow, they synchronized their movements. That was pretty cool. Riftstones. By touching it, the Risen can travel to the bridge 
of the worlds, which a great many pawns travel, traverse, as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you. However, so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Oh, they don't level up with you? Hail, Arisen. Pray, ask all you wish to know. I shall answer, if it is within my power to do so. Tell me of pawns. Nomads, we are oft called. Born in other worlds, we travel here by means of the rift stone. At least my character can can look at look at her. However, I cannot speak as to our true nature, for I know of it not. None of us do. We do not need to. We merely do as we are commanded. Tell me of the rift stones. Rift stones are gates that connect this world to a multitude of others. By their power have we crossed into this world. And when our mission is done, by their power shall we return to our own. Okay, I like the voice acting so far. Tell me of the Arisen. It is the name given to fates chosen. Those destined to command the Pawn Legion and safeguard the world from the threat of the dragon. What, how is that connected into his back? It looks like that hurt the way he has his his shield connected. Like it's inside his it's going into his body. I'm so confused. Even with your memories lost to you, I am afraid you cannot escape your fate. Another time. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Well, you wouldn't need to say another time if you've asked all the questions. There should be something that says, well, if you ask all four questions and it says, uh, 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 I bid you adieu or something like that instead of another time. Okay, so there we go. We got Jin. It's my wife. Um, we're just going to, like, move around. We've, we've got, I guess, a mission at hand here. We need to go out. Not sure. Uh, we can look around here in this kind of little area for a minute or two. Do they do they follow or do they just stay there? Um, can you tell them to? Fo okay, you can. So you can say to me. Then I shall remain by your side. Okay. Cool. Uh, you got help. Wait. A treasure chest. Shall we see if we can't make our way over to it? Uh. Sure, but where do you see this, this v treasure of chests? She mentions a treasure chest, but I don't. Where she saw this? All right. Let's just go. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. There's a treasure. Aged scrag of beast. Let me look to see if I what equipment I have still. So just the basics of simple equipment. You'd think we'd be allowed to have something. Oh, and we're going to be able to equip her with different things as well. So that's pretty cool. All right, uh, you just climb it by moving forward, okay. So I guess it just gives you a chance to kind of look at the world here. Otherwise, no reason. <laughs> uh, we just go through each other. All right, you click in the left thumbstick and you're able to do that. Oh, don't fall. Um, all right. Uh, let's go ahead and move on. Autosave data can be relied and you save. It is recommended that you rest at ends if you wish to. Okay, gotcha. So you can sit. What is this here? Phantom oil? Okay. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. 
My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, tis worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. No hard feelings if you prefer it. They've much more to offer. Saying so, yeah, the inn fully restores your health and stamina. Uh, last switch represents reduction in health damage. Uh, when resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you want to set out a particular time. Gotcha. Uh, this one's going to cost... No? Okay. Though the sun is still up. I'm just doing it now because I want to show you guys what that entails and and we can take a look at the nighttime. So we have items will be sent to item storage. And we've leveled her. I thought she doesn't level up. I'm so confused. Um All right, so what what do we do about this level up thing? Is there Status equipment quests in Dragon's Wake set as priority. Yep. Uh, and we can take a look at the map. So this is the map we've unlocked so far. Basic, simple map. I like this. I think this is exactly the kind of map. It kind of makes it feel like the old style RPGs. Um, yeah. So let's let's head out and do our thing. Make for Melv. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Hey, oh, you a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area. Of I look a lot different. Where's my character? <laughs> He's like, you can't even see your character. You only see. Okay. Is that so? Who went yonder? What am I saying though? At least let me see what I'm supposed to say on the screen. Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way then? Accardo. To be honest, sir. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. Oh, so this is a different guy that's talking to his friend. Okay. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fine. I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far, only a short ways out from the main gate. You've my thanks. Anacardo's as well, I'm sure. Okay, you can select a quest to prioritize. Gotcha. Directed by the passage of time. To hurry, lest we arrive too late to be evade. All right, so we set up a new one, so let's go. Okay. Um, there's a chest somewhere close to here. All right, there are four commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawns. Get a feel for each situation. Go, instructs. All right. To me, yep. Wait. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. Level up already, nice. I just want to make sure that the quest that I'm on is the right one. Orders of a new recruit. All right, cool. Okay, so the world does look really good. As I said, the um, color palette's just um, a lot more... Get down here, you I don't know what's going on. What was going on there? There we go. 
combat seems actually pretty fun. Ooh, I like that move right there. That's a pretty cool move. Pick up apples. Cool. For health. Uh, to me. Very well. I shall return. I wonder if this is okay. This is the thing we were supposed to help with. Is that all of them? Yeah. You have my thanks. Why? Why doesn't our character at least look at us, or at least look in the direction of the guy he's talking to? I mean, that's something that I, I feel like is a simple, a simple thing that 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 should be in this game. Does anyone else get weirded out by that when your character is totally not even paying attention to the person that's talking to them? I mean, I don't know if I'm in the wrong for saying that, but let me know. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I, I was paralyzed. You saved me this time, but I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. I know the game is wanting you to focus on the character that that's talking, but it just it really takes you out of immersion. Well, I'd best be heading back, but I'll be sure to let my superiors know of your good deed. I hope we meet again someday. We'd best report back. Okay. Nice little short introductory side quest, I think. You can see a lot of Poppin. Oh, my stamina. Yeah, you can. Okay. Poppin is happening really Put up close and quick. We've not counted a thief among our number for some time. What is that? I have no idea what that. Hey, old friend. Many thanks for aiding Ocado. It was a relief to see him return. Like if we could just at least turn his body to him, I'd feel a little better. <laughs> that it was. The poor son might not have made it back alive had you not intervened. It was a bit too early for him to be seeing actual combat. That much was made well clear. We'll be extending his training period. The instructors here are well known for whipping recruits into shape with their grueling regimes. <laughs> Speaking of training regimes, I must admit I've half a mind to ask you to join us. We could use someone with your experience. We have succeeded in defending our charge. A sign of good things to come, mayhap? So, all upgrades are... I'm so confused because I literally thought it said... Um, she wouldn't be able to up upgrade herself. So, I'm just a, a little confused on that entire matter. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I do like how she talks and gets to know and... Maybe that means we'll actually get to... Ooh, nice jump! Dude, that was one hell of a jump. And she's really good in battle too. I like having a... She did that from over there. So that was interesting. Oh, we got a chest here. I hope we can get some a better outfit. I mean, this is... Alright, that's... That's a pretty good looking game. I'm gonna give it that. I will say that when I first saw reviews of this game, I was not a fan of the way that it looked. Does that mean this thing's sleeping or what? Oh, it's totally sleeping. I feel like a dick now. I just ruined its sleep. Ooh, executions. That's nice. I feel like a really mean, a mean person who just like, dude was only sleeping. He wouldn't hurt anybody. Nice animations there with the jump. Nice, I like that, I like that. I'm gonna need you though, where's she at? Cool. Nice. All right. Combat is definitely a go for me. I, I'm enjoying the combat. Man, leveling up at the beginning of the game is super, super quick. 
another battle, with nary a moment to breathe. We must try to find a moment to gather our strength. Oh, you gotta be facing them. So, any stealth? Oh, I thought I hit it in time. Okay, I better take a uh, item here. Um, okay. Most impressive, Master. All right, so there is there a lock on? I haven't found a lock in a lock on yet. There might not be a lock on. I thought clicking in the right thumbstick locks on, but it does not. I'll gather this. It might be of use. Thank you. I don't even know if we're heading in the right direction, honestly. I think we are. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, Master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. That is really weird having someone call me that. Can we talk to this? Count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. Knowing when to use curatives is my speciality. Oh, so... Oh, okay, but if we... If ever you've need of an ear to listen, you have but to ask. Now, does that mean we take away our other one? Hans Ward of Badges is a marker. Okay. Specializations are skills that only be acquired by pawns. They are not strictly beneficial. Well worth trying out. If you like your pawn to learn a specialization, you will do befriend. Okay, so you have to befriend people with various traits. Okay. Now I've got two. A visit to Melv might jog your memory, Master. It seems the village yet reels from the dragon's assault. Then follow me. I'll lead the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we shan't lose our way. So this is Melv. The scars left by the dragon's assault are plain to see. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. When the Arisen appears, so too does the... Pitiable Arisen. Okay. It is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate. Uh. 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 
she's the one who shot down our griffin, right? going on here all right unfortunately I cannot heal myself All right, I've got no special abilities. I just got something, though. Ranged your memories of receiving the Arisen's charged. Regained. Okay. So they just let random guys who die very, very easily to a big dragon become arisen? Or am I not understanding this right? So I don't have a heart. The story does have me interested. Sir, sir stay with me. Hmm. That must be why I have that big indention in my chest. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? I'm not a big fan. I mean, come on. It's 2024, and this is a big game made by Capcom. I feel like the animations, listen, we were so harsh on Mass Effect Andromeda. You guys remember all of the hate that game got because of lip sync and the way the mouths moved and everything. And here we are like seven some odd years later and this is the same. So Again, I only give my opinions. I'm always going to be honest with you, even if I get a product for free. Anything that I find a bit weird. I mean, you, you can't say that the games are not comparable because they're both open games. Places you can go, open, open areas for you to, to travel in. So does anyone else find it a little weird that, that the animations just aren't lining up? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Or it, it could very well be, because this was not made by an American studio or an English-speaking studio, that the lip-syncing is uh, specifically for another language, and 
they decided only to do one because it would take too much time. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just giving you my opinions on what I kind of see as I go through. Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon, I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly... The dude ripped my heart out, man. I mean, come on. I could not hear your heart beating. It was a miracle that you survived. You didn't see him literally take my heart out from my body and then eat it? Arisen, I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. That, okay, I'm going to be honest. That animation for her talking just seems worse, way worse than Mass Effect. Way worse. And yet this game is getting praised. Absolutely praised. And I, 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 I can totally see why people are praising this because they care more about probably the gameplay and, and maybe the story is really, really good. So far, it's pretty good. But that animations, that's, it's awful. And I'm just going to come out and say it. Does it have ought to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Quit asking me questions that I can't even answer. I am of the Border Watch. Someone with arisen like abilities came to this village torn in tow. No you all to this. Has he come for you? We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. That's better. You can see the cutscenes. They put more effort into the, the lip syncing. Arisen. I don't know, maybe I'm being a little too hard, but I know that these games are so expensive that you know, you gotta ah, look at everything. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermin currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Let us speak with everyone we can think of who might know aught of use. Oh, have you some business with the apothecary, sir? Dreadful sorry if I was in your way. Oh, no. I'm not lost or not, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. That look this the, the 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 model on this on this girl seems something from 2010 or 9 even. How is this next gen? How is this 2024 and it looks like that? Maybe I'm just, maybe because I don't play a lot of these style of games, that I'm just used to different graphics or something. Please tell me that I'm thinking, that I'm thinking too much on this. That I'm, you, you know what I'm saying? That to me, that, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm an apothecary in training, you see. My family runs a little shop in Vernworth. So when I heard tell of a medicine only to be found in this village, I thought I'd come and fetch some for us. Made the journey all by myself as well, if you can believe it. But, well, as luck would have it, I've not enough gold for the medicine. Look how her fingers don't bend. They're just straight. Okay, her thumbs bend, but her, f her, um, her fingers don't. So, it's, there's just... 
will be a shame to return empty-handed after coming all this way. But what more can I do? What? You'd do that? You'd get the medicine for me? Suppose there's no harm in that. If you're really sure... Oh, sir. I'd be most grateful. Seems my luck's not as rotten as I thought. I'll wait right here for your return, sir. And many thanks for your kindness. We could make the fruit robberent ourselves, or simply purchase some at Rune's apothecary here in Melv. Yes, of course. I see it now. I am just so... Okay. I'm gonna give you my... This is, this is my impressions. This is what I think so far. I've only played... Listen, I've only played an hour. So... In my opinion... The game looks... The game looks good. Okay? Clearly, the game is... Looks good enough for 2024. I'll be honest and say... Yes. Uh, frame rate... Oh, excellent find. <laughs> you found a ladder. Congratulations. Um, I mean, I think the game looks good. I'm playing on an OLED TV that I've had for a couple years, a C1, I think it was. And the game does look decent. It looks it looks okay. Uh, nothing to beat around the bush. I don't think anyone is saying this is the most graphically best game that we've had so far in 2024. But obviously for the size of the world that you're going to get into here, it's probably a huge, massive open world. So... It makes sense they have to die down some of the graphics in order to be able to maintain a steady frame rate uh, and, and things like that, obviously. Even with a RTX 4090, I saw the review for people playing on PC, they're barely able to get 60 frames a second. And that's just wow, because there are games out there that could do so much more than RTX 4090. So I don't know if this game is truly, truly optimized or not. Maybe they need a little bit more time in the oven to get it optimized. That's my thought on the graphics. Um, Animation-wise, animations are great. I like the way the characters move. Uh, I think um, that is totally fine. Lip sync, awful, god awful. Uh, this should not be a standard in 2024, and the game should nowhere be nowhere near a nine or a ten, in my opinion, with with uh, lip syncing and character models that look like that. This is that's a character model that you will run into automatically because even though I was going for a main mission she stopped me automatically. So you're going to run into that character. And that character seems like there's someone from 2009. So that is a no-no, in my opinion. That would, right there, that would keep me from wanting to get this game myself. Because I feel like they've cut too many corners for certain things. Now, the kind of player that I am, I do like RPGs if I can really get into the story. Story is very big. So I would continue playing this game because I would want to know exactly how the story is. But if there's too many things that keep me from uh, wanting to move on past just me enjoying the story, it'd have to be good gameplay. Gameplay wise, so far, I like the combat. It seems a little floaty and a little fast for me. I don't know what style they're trying to go for. Um, maybe there's a dodge button that you get later, but no dodge seems a little iffy for me, you know? Um, uh, the block is fine. Obviously, you can do some really cool parries uh, based off of the block if you time it right. Um, your character has just a little bit of weight. As you can see, they can't they can't turn on it. Like, I'm doing a spinning circle right now, and the character cannot turn on a dime. Now, if I do it this way and I do it slow, the character can turn. But if I'm doing it really fast, as you can see, animation has to stop before you're able to continually turn your character. So there is some weight to the character a little bit. Um, like I said, animation wise, not bad. Lip syncing, character look, some cases not good. Lots of pop in, even really, really close. I mean, you just you can just look at that. If I look in a certain area, it's just all of a sudden pop in really close. And I feel like in today's day, it shouldn't be as um, as prominent uh, as I see. Now, these are my thoughts on the game. Would I recommend this for someone who is not used to this type of game? No, I would not recommend it. But for someone that loves this style of game and can get past the things that I've mentioned, then yes, you're probably going to absolutely love this. And I can see why so many people give 
uh, great reviews. Everything Capcom does usually in, in this regard gets great reviews, so I can see why a lot of people are thoroughly enjoying it. But in my opinion, I could never see this game being game of the year. You'd have to bring yourself back to 2010 to get in a, a mind frame for game of the year. Game of the year to me is something that embodies moving gaming forward in a way, right? If you're game of the year, you're doing something different than other games. You're putting, uh, 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 you're, you're, you're moving past what's already out there. That's what considers for me game of the year. I would not consider this game of the year. There's too many aspects that make me feel like this is a game of the past and not a game of the future. So those are my original opinions on this. If you do want to see more and we can open up the world more, maybe there'll be some things that really blow me away later on. But for me, this is a first impressions video. And I, as I said, as myself, if you're like me and you think the same things that you've seen, I am not a fan. I'm not a fan at all. I remember enjoying Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma a little bit back in the day. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan. This might contain useful information. The, uh, the story is definitely something that I could probably end up liking, and I wouldn't mind watching someone play it. Probably, this would be a game I wouldn't mind watching someone play, as opposed to actually playing myself. Um, but again, I'm so early, and that's why this is, video is labeled as a first impressions, not a review. I have not played enough to give an honest review, and for those of you out there that have played 30, 40 hours, or however long it takes to beat the game, they're going to have totally different opinions. Watch other reviewers, see what they say, but if you're like me, I just don't think you're going to like it. And that is my 100% God's to honest opinion of this game. I will always give you my straight opinion because you deserve it, and that's why I wanted to show this off to you guys with unedited gameplay so you could just kind of get a sense of what you would be getting to it so maybe get it on sale if it goes down quite a bit or maybe you don't care about those things that i mentioned maybe you just want a swashbuckling adventure and you're having a blast playing it if you're having a blast playing it right now let me know in the comments because power to you i'm so happy that you're happy with it but this is not something that i would definitely want to play so i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what you think of it if I can make these videos any better. If you like this style of me showcasing these games off for you guys and giving you my 100% honest opinion, call me out on things that you think is different. Let's have good discussions in the comments below. I would love to know what you guys think. Am I, am I wrong? Am I, in your opinion, am I wrong? Obviously, we all have opinions, but I would like to know uh, how this game stacks up in your eyes. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and, uh, spot for harvesting ingredients. I bet it does. Shall That's we a, see if there's all to be found while we're here? We should totally do that, but at another time, uh, because the princess is in another castle for this one. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like, comment below on the things that I asked, and uh, let's have some good discussions. Uh, criticism is okay. Constructive criticism. I'm, I know the developer spent years and years making this game, and it's obviously done so well already, it's going to be a big hit. Uh, so kudos to the developers. They, they made a game that they are honestly love, and I'm so happy for people out there that are playing it and love it. It's just not for me. Other than that, love you all. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Bye,